We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Hi folks and welcome back to another video. Today we're still in Palanque and we're going to be taking you to a special place that we've heard of called Agua Azul Waterfalls. These are the Agua Azul Waterfalls in the Palanque area between Palanque and San Cristobal de las Casas. So we're really excited about that. There's several ways to get to this Agua Azul. We're going from Palanque and we're gonna show you how to get there the most cost-effective way. As you can see, we're here in our Airbnb and we're gonna be heading out right now to get our Colectivo bus. We are having an early start. It's about an hour and a half drive from here and with Colectivo, Oh, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. We're really excited to take you with us, so let's go. For the Collectivos, there's really one place that you want to stop and pick them up at, and that is... That corner right there. I'll show you a closer picture right now. That's where the circle is, right around that corner. So you're gonna come from that corner down to here to get to it if you're coming from the circle. We're gonna be getting onto this Collectivo right there. So we loaded up into that van right there and are just waiting for it to fill up before we can leave. We're gonna see how long it takes. We are on the way and it should take about an hour and a half to get there. An hour and a half is kind of a long drive, however, Palenque is the closest city that has a bus depot and airport, making it an ideal location. Plus, it was a good view along the way, so it was nice to be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. We just got off the Colectivo and grabbed a taxi. We'll tell you more about our adventures once we get up to the entrance. We have arrived and now we're gonna tell you a little bit about all the costs that are associated with coming here. The first thing that we have to talk about is the tickets to get onto the Colectivo. They were 50 pesos each, roughly about $2.50. The taxi fee to get from the main road to the Agua Azul is gonna be 50 pesos. Then you've got two stops on the road along the way. You're not gonna get past those. They're blocked off and they will stop you. The first one was the red ones right here and that was 25 pesos per person. Then the second stop was the 40 pesos per person, which they're gonna charge you if you wanna go and see the Agua Azul. This is the only road up here. Basically, in total, it's 280 pesos, which is roughly about $14 for the two of us to get up here. We are on our own experiencing it for ourselves so that we can show you what it would be the least expensive way to get up here. You can walk through those vendors to get up to the main area. There's some really cool things to look at and purchase. Bring some money for food or souvenirs. Oh wow, look, check that out. Yes, the water really is that amazing. It's our first glimpse, but we've got a lot more to see, so we're gonna keep going. This is going to be your first major look at the waterfalls. There is an actual place to stop and enjoy the view for a minute. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna continue to go up that path to see what else we can find up there. As we continued up the path, it turns out there were a lot of vendors along the entire route. Guard dog. I know it looks like a lot of steps right now, but we really wanted to get to the top of it so that we could show you as much as possible. And this is just blowing us away. It's at this point that we're realizing we needed a lot more time to really do this place justice. We're still going up higher. We've been climbing for a little bit. And if you get to the point where you're tired halfway up, you actually do have a place that you can stop and enjoy some of the water now. I'm just curious, without having seen the rest of the waterfalls, how many of you would have stopped here to enjoy this view? Leave a comment below right now. To the right is gonna be the main viewpoint they want you to see. To the left is gonna be the swimming area. We'll go look at that in a little bit. First thing to note, there is a path that takes you directly to where this overlook is. Second thing to note, even if there wasn't, that view would totally be worth the walk. 
Just make sure you're safe up there. brought our water shoes. We've been carrying them along with us for quite a while for events just like this. If you don't have water shoes, they're selling them here. We're going to keep going up a little bit further because the trail looks like it continues on. We're just curious what is this way? Maybe another swimming area or maybe not. We'll find out. Right here on the left, you've got a restaurant with some more waterfalls. Here's a little table to enjoy some food while you're enjoying that view. They obviously have some lifeguards set up ready for you in case it's necessary. It's necessary. It's necessary. I cannot believe this is still going. So it looks like that is the end of the trail because that's where the village starts and we don't want to bother them. Leave them alone. Javier, yo guío acá en las partes de las cascadas para vincar en nueve pozas. He is a volunteer. Nueve pozas para turista para no lastimar la roca, la piedra. Mejor swim. There you go. So he's one of the volunteers here that's going to just watch over us and make sure that we're safe when we're swimming here. The volunteers are here to help us, but also to show us how to be safe, as you're going to see here. Right there. Just like that. Did you notice that even the child knew the safe routes and where everything was so that they could swim and be safe? It's important to note that. Make sure you're listening to the local volunteers that are there to help you out. More on that in just a minute. I'm going to continue swimming and having fun. I think they're trying to wear me out. That's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the couple next to us was swimming in really strong current, and the gentleman was caught under a log where the strongest current was. Because of his predicament, several of the local volunteers jumped into action to help him. As we watched over the period of 30 minutes, they struggled to remove him from under the log. Because of the strength of the current and the force it pushed on the log, it was very difficult to remove it from on top of his leg. Several volunteers were there putting themselves into a tough situation in order to help him out. And our friend, Javier, was injured in the efforts. Fortunately, they were able to rescue the swimmer and he immediately left to go to the local hospital to seek medical attention for his injuries. There's a big log under the water right there that is causing an even stronger current and the guy got caught under there. We are absolutely having a lot of fun here. We just want to give you a little heads up. Please listen to the volunteers and the guides. Make sure that you're doing what they tell you to do to keep you safe. It's very important. Así es, no pueden nadar solos. Cuando vienen a nadar acá, no vayan a meter solos por esa parte porque está peligroso. Necesita, hay que, necesita preguntar con alguien para que no pueden pasar algo como que pasó algo con, con la turista. Por eso tengan mucho cuidado. Si se van a venir a bañar acá, pregunta primero para entrar a nadar, para que no lleguen a chocar la piedra o, o eh, más que nada este, pasar algo. Y por eso tenga mucho cuidado andar solos ahí en esta parte de las cascadas. Está muy poco peligroso andar solo. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. And uh, hasta luego. Adiós, <laughs> adiós. And he's one of the local vendors too. So not only is he a volunteer here who just saved somebody, but if you want to get a shirt, this is a spot to stop. And then just like that, life is back on track and everybody's having fun again.
and we walked away from the experience with just a little bit more appreciation for life and the beauty that this world has to offer. And that gives us an opportunity to work on creating the thumbnail, which really means we're just going out to play in the water for a little bit because, well, it was really nice. And before you know it, it was time to get back to doing some actual work. But this was definitely one of the most beautiful places we've ever been able to visit, play at, or swim in. Before we leave, we just wanted to point out, the earlier you get here, the more likely you're going to be here by yourself or with less people. And it'll be so enjoyable. Now it is time for us to go home. As you can see behind us, it is definitely full of vans. I mean, there are a lot of tourists here. This a place ton is, of tourists. Yeah. It's pretty so busy, many. but that's good. We got to go get a taxi down to the main road to collect our Collectivo. Still more people coming in. We asked the taxi driver how much it would cost to drive us all the way back to Palenque. He said 700 pesos, which isn't too bad of a ride if you're in a hurry. If money isn't an object. So. Yeah, we've considered it. Uh, it'll, it would also be a lot more comfortable. This ride is pretty nice. Really so. nice, but we are budget travelers, so we are going to take the Collectivo and pay 50 per person. And here we are. If you happen to be driving up here on your own, the sign is clearly marking where you need to go. They also have on the other side of the road, more directions. And if you're waiting for your Collectivo, just join us. The very last part of the trip is that you're gonna get off right here, which is right after Palenque sign. That is one of two circles here. The other one is right up here by the ADL. So it's really easy. Once you're here, we're just gonna get off and then get you to where you need to go. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned. We've got another video coming up of our travels and adventures. In Mexico. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.